What's up, family? On one end of the phone was Columbus County Sheriff Jody Green. On the other end, Captain Jason Souls, who had just been tapped to lead the sheriff's office while election officials investigated a complaint questioning whether Green was eligible to serve as sheriff. Green wanted to know who in the department had communicated with Lewis Hatcher, the former sheriff whom Green had narrowly defeated in the election, and Melvin Campbell, a recently fired sergeant, both of whom are black. In Green's words, they had a snitch in the office, leaking information to his political opponent, who had sued to be reinstated until the election protests were resolved. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of these black bastards, said Green. I'm going to clean house and be done with it. And we'll start from there. The call between Green and Souls took place about two months into what was a tumultuous start to Green's career as a sheriff. Green beat Hatcher in the 2018 election by just 34 votes at a time when election fraud in this rural part of North Carolina was making national headlines. The results were protested in part over concerns Green did not actually live in Columbus County as required by state law. He'd also been improperly sworn in before the state certified the election results. Souls' promotion to acting sheriff was the result of a court-mediated agreement between Green and Hatcher, while election officials worked to determine who was the rightful sheriff. Green wanted his chief deputy, Aaron Heron, to serve as interim sheriff, but Heron was not an acceptable alternative to Hatcher and his supporters, in part because of Heron's reputation in Columbus County's African-American community. Heron was arrested in 2015, forget this fam, punching a handcuffed black man in the face. Now, you're not going to believe this, but he was eventually found not guilty. But that did little to quell the concerns in the black community about how this guy moves within the black community. They did not trust him. Now, Souls said that immediately after being named active sheriff, he started receiving calls from Green. Green telling him how he did not trust the black cops and, you know, how he wanted to fire all of them. Funny thing happened, though. Green denied that he ever had that conversation, that recorded conversation, when the media played that conversation back for, for him, he continued to deny it. But you know how that go, fam. What's done in the dark will come to light. That just goes to show you, fam, this dude is on video actually telling the lie, and he's still trying to get people to believe the lie. He can't be trusted. He should be busted. This dude has no business having authority over other humans' bodies. Not at all. Number one, he should be fired. Number two, he should be locked up. Or you can make number two, number one. Either way, he got to go. Then he had the nerve to say, oh, they think I'm scared of them. I'm not scared of them. I can show you, he said this while drunk. You know, he sounded drunk. I can't confirm that he was drunk, but he sounded like a drunk. And I would not put it past him because there are a whole lot of cops that come to work drunk and hot. That's right. They popping pills just like the youngsters popping pills. They on that lean, they on that cocaine, they on that crack, they on that meth, they on that alcohol. Just like everybody else that do it. Don't let that uniform fool you. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.